Now that you've seen the trailer for Jurassic World Dominion, what do you think? Try to show a little respect. Okay. Mother <laughs> The most evil geek news. Hello, hello, let's get episode 529 out of the way. Today we got the highly anticipated trailer for Jurassic World Dominion, and I'm cautiously optimistic. Like all quote unquote legacy sequels, feels great to see the gang back together again, and we're even getting the return of the diabolical Dilophosaurus. Stick, stick, stupid. That's a stick point. Yes. Not to be confused with the Dilphosaurus, Jeff Goldblum's dinosaur name. <laughs> Here's how I always felt about Jurassic Park movies. I love it when they're at the actual park. That means the OG, JP3, and Jurassic World. Those are great. As soon as the dinosaurs make their way to the mainland, I lose interest. Hopefully Dominion is the movie that changes that for me. Hold on to your butts. Netflix also dropped their first trailer for The Atom Project today starring Ryan Reynolds. It drops on March 11th and looks like a ridiculously fun movie that's gonna hit me right in the feels. Are you gonna cry? <laughs> <laughs> looks like we're getting a Super Bowl ad for GM that features the return of Dr. Evil. Just like last year's Uber Eats commercial with Wayne's World, I'm disappointed because what I really want is another movie, but instead, Mike Myers is raking in the big bucks, resurrecting characters for Super Bowl commercials. How about new? You crazy Dutch Yesterday, Disney dropped the first official poster for the Obi-Wan series, along with the reveal that the series will premiere on Disney Plus on May 25th, and not May the 4th? What in the Disney Channel f is that? Amazon's ramping up my excitement for the Rings of Power, now dropping these first look images with Vanity Fair, along with a few new details about the show. We know now the Rings of Power will be set within Tolkien's second age, roughly 2,000 years before the Fellowship of the Ring, and will juggle 22 stars and multiple storylines from deep within the dwarf mines to the elven kingdom of Linden. Amazon has spent a ton of money on this series, and just from these images, you can see that this show is going to be insane. Shut up and take my money! It was just announced yesterday that Futurama is being revived with Hulu for a 20 episode run marking the second time Futurama has been revived. I guess it's time for me to shave in case they decide to start casting for the live action version. Fry. Thanks for watching the show. Not really, I don't care. Follow me on freaking Twitter at Chris Killian or freaking Instagram at CK Comedy. Make sure you like the video for support and then give it a thumbs up so we can get to 1 million views.